reviewed another short scale base of this type before. That was called the uh, Ibanez SR Mezzo. Okay, this is uh, a very nice looking, very uh, metallic blue looking MTD base, which is Michael Tobias design. You've probably heard of them. Who uh, make more handmade, uh, you know, bases out there. Uh, very high quality caliber. Uh, this is one of their like a kind of line, a kind of line that does uh, uh, like an average custom made base from MTD will run you anywhere from two thousand, three thousand more. Uh, this is about a almost a thousand dollar job here that uh, MTD has produced. Um, it is an offshoot from an original base they made for a base artist by the name of uh, Lynn Keller. <clears throat> and uh, Ms. Keller specifically designed a beautiful uh, MTD vase that's, uh, of course, more, much more expensive than this. Um, it was custom uh, short scale at 32 inches as far as the length. Uh, if you know anything about length, uh, neck length, um, you know, they usually come standard 35 inches long. Uh, this is 32 inches long on the neck and usually what is considered short scale is even smaller than that 30 inches on the neck nonetheless they call this a short scale uh, in the middle at 32 inches instead of 30 and um, it's very nice uh, um, I would call one flaw on it and that is the output isn't as strong volume output in energy is as strong as I would like it but trusty turn of the uh, amp and that'll make all the difference but it's a shame that uh, you have to turn the amp up a little more to get what you really want out of this base that's probably its only flaw um, uh, yeah that's about it <clears throat> um, other than that um, you know great uh, bridge PJ configuration on the pickups um, um, volume uh, pick up a split here um, bass and treble and uh, um, bass and treble double, double, double knob bass and treble uh, mid range here in the middle and here we have a certain texture that I'm not quite I think it's First mid range and a second mid range. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm trying. I've been trying to uh, uh, get the specifics on this. And interesting enough, there's not much on this throughout the net. It's been pretty frustrating. Um, the specs are pretty clear. 32 medium scale. Like I said, um, this is a five string, three band preamp. Nice preamp in it. I guess it needs to be a little stronger on the pickups. Uh, Active and passive switch. Oh, it's passive. Active will be on the bottom. Um, nice maple neck. Um, has a basswood body. So this is inexpensive for the MTD, very much. Um, like I said, it comes in around about almost a thousand. It's nine nine ninety five from like that. And. Uh, it has what is uh, called a buzz phaeton tuning system, which just means, um, you can see the, the raises here on the tune. tune this is very nice. Very nice bridge. It also has that, uh, uh, I forget what you call this. I know it on, on uh, other videos where there's a, uh, a fret that's right up above the other frets up on top here. It's supposed to prevent a lot of buzzing, stuff like that. Uh, and uh, like I said, it's just very easy, you know, easy to play because it's 32 scale. You know, you don't have as much stretching, so you can really do some serious soul damage. Funk with this. Uh, like I said, the only flaw is, you know, it's a shame the, um, the output is not strong as I'd like 
And I was actually surprised when uh, I got this because I, I got this uh, pretty much um, sight on scene, unplayed um, because they weren't in stores. Uh, through, um, you know, off of eBay. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a nice, different, lightweight. It's very appealing. Uh, like I said, the output is not great. The output was a, a little better. Oh, I really love it, but that's my only flaw. And, uh, you guys know me, I don't usually give a negative review. But that part of the base, that flaw part of the base, is um, very evident. And of course, I thought I should uh, share this with you. I also try to uh, look around on uh, YouTube and on the internet and, and try to find was there another review on this base. There is, but not exactly this base. The original Lynn Keller uh, model that was made, uh, especially for her, uh, maybe two or three years ago by MTB. Um, you know, a um, handmade, uh, you know, much more expensive base that they, that they uh, gave to uh, Lynn Keller. And uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, but also, that one reviewer said that uh, it also had a little trouble with the the output. The output is not as great as they'd want it. And I said, really? Wow. It's interesting. Anyway, um, so maybe not a perfect, uh, you know, uh, criticism, but uh, one nonetheless. And uh, aside from that, I like the bass, man. It was just... And I'm going to keep it. me on the Max Trout channel. I hope you enjoyed this review of the, uh, uh, did I say what the, what it was? Was it like the MTD, right? The MT LK5, LK, um, as in Lynn Keller signature. Bass, we put out there, it's a nice bass, just leaves a little more oomph. So I'll put it that way. Okay. So I, that's me on the Max Proud channel. Until next bass, see you soon. Until next bass, I'll get back.